What's going on? It's Nico, best of both offices, TV. Here with your man, Donnie Goins. So, I'm, dope. I'm not gonna lie, I heard a lot of different variations of your name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Donnie Goonies. <Yeah. laughs> Donnie Goonies. It takes a while. Shit's in here right now. It's Donnie Goins. That's what it is. All right, so let people know where you're from and like, you know, niggas didn't know who he was. What's going on? Who is he? Basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, my name is Donnie Goins. You know what I mean? But basically, I'm from the hood, man. I'm from. Hood USA, you know what I'm saying? Like, we right now in Harlem, you know what I mean? Right in my apartment building, you know what I mean? And basically, I'm a New Yorker. When niggas ask me where I'm from, I usually say New York. I ain't gonna lie, like, because I grew up in the Bronx, you know what I mean? And I basically grew up out here in Harlem as well. And, you know, I just, I'm a New Yorker, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Word. I feel you. So, um, how can you just start in the industry? You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, from the fact that you took a different approach, you didn't go to mixtape out. Exactly. I'm a freestyle, I'm niggas backs 24 7, you know? Nah, that nigga's Charles Hamilton, I don't know. Nah. <laughs> Shout out Charles, though, what up? That nigga's know what the new age approach is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, basically, like, long story short, when I decided I wanted to do this, I kind of thought about it a lot, and I was like, yo, everybody did the whole mixtape already, they did the battles, they did all this other shit. And at that time, it was like January 06, so I was like, all right, how am I going to come in? And I looked at the internet, I was like, man, this, this is an emerging, you know, form right here. So I was like, shit, I'm going to ride this right here and fuck with this shit. So, you know, I started my MySpace page, I had three songs, and I ain't no soul, you know what I'm saying? And I started from that, and I'm here now, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, that's uh, crazy. So I know you, you, I know you utilize the blogs and, you know, yeah. everything else, you know what I'm saying? What are some of the blogs that you fuck with? Too many. <laughs> Shout out to all the blogs. All all the I fuck with lots of them. Like then all of them, like Nine Rights, the Two Dope Boys, Shout out to Shake, that's the um, I don't even want to say personal because I fuck with all of them. Like, you know what I mean? It's all love. But I'm all usually on all the blogs, all the websites, you know what I mean? And um, they show me what I love and I show them love back, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Now on the flip side, you know the blogs is the new magazines, you know. Of I heard you got a little taste of what the industry was like. You know? <laughs> Sir <laughs> Magazine, you know, <laughs> did you a little greasy, we're not going to talk about the whole situation, but, you know what I'm saying, here to speak on that? Nah, I'm going to keep it from giving the sauce, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real talk, I mean, it was all of us, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it was crazy about it. I mean, I'll give you the whole story, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, it was like back in 06. You know, I, I, I really, um, I did like, this online battle contest, and it was like some, like, unsigned hype shit, and the person that won the contest was supposed to get an article in the magazine. So you know, long story short, I'm doing this shit for months, 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 and I actually won the contest, you know? So I'm running around like for months, campaigning, like, yo, I'm about to be in the source on some hype, because you know, that's a beautiful thing to be a part of that legacy, you know what I mean? And they just basically shitting on me, like, you know what I mean? Real talk, you know what I mean? There's no secret, like, they shitting on me, didn't give me the article, and I fucking, I flipped out, like, I made a song called Fuck the Source, it was going crazy with it, you know what I'm saying? And like. You know, I mean, we got some people fast, but we know it's all good. You know, we're gonna take all of it. So good, but you know, I'm gonna tell you this story one second. But um, yeah, essentially, you know what happened? Like they just fucking dissed me, and I made that song, and I, I just they put it on all hip hop rumors and shit. You know what I'm saying? And they was going crazy. Yo. I was getting like five thousand hits a day behind that shit, mm -hmm. and it was like it was crazy to me, man. I was just so angry, you know, and. I really kind of just like fell back in the situation because I'm like one of the people I didn't want to build my career with beef, you know, no ignorant shit because that's not what I'm about, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I kind of fell back from it. And since then, you know what I mean? I've definitely like reached out to the Source magazine and we, I even done freestyles from this shit and it's all love with the Source now. I mean, bygones are bygones, you know what I'm saying? So I should be in that magazine soon. I better be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They owe that to you, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into the music, you know? Um, When's the album coming out? You know, what's good with the album? Definitely. Maybe that for midnight. Before, for, before we even talk about the album, what's yeah. your situation like? Do you got a deal like going independent or what's going Independent. Going? All independent. the way through. I'm, I'm basically on. Um, let me make sure I pronounce his name right because the dude got on me today about it. You know what I'm saying? It is Amalgam. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm putting the album out through. You know what I'm saying? It just should be my album, but I'm completely independent. I'm in control of everything. So I'm really like doing it through digital, you know what I'm saying? That's my whole thing, and anybody knows that's the foundation of my career, digital. You know what I mean? So it's dropping in December, and um, it's a, it's a great look, man. Midnight, midnight, I'm, I'm hyped, you know what I'm saying? December what? You got an exact date? Not exactly. Right, so December, look out for it. December, look out for it. Yeah. Look out for it. Um, I'm going to talk about that real quick. I, I'm going to talk about it for a second. Midnight, midnight, second produced by Dame Grease. 
your favorite producer, favorite producer, you know what I'm saying? I got Static Select on there, and Phases, Apple Juice Kid, DJ Static Dub C. It, it's a problem, like, you know what I mean? But it ain't even a problem in the sense of, like, I'm really getting arrogant with it and, like, really, like, talking a lot of bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm really, I keep it real personal and I really just try to, like, bring people into my world, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's a great introduction to me as an artist. I'm actually working on my second album right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's it's definitely a good thing. Any any producers that we know that you work with and want to shout them out? Yeah, Dan Grease. I mean, Dan Grease is like 20 million sold, man. Like, Dan Grease, if you don't know who he is, he really like was the main producer on DMX first album. And um, some big singles he had last year, he had the Freeway and Jay-Z joint, Big Spenders, um, had the 20K joint with the Re-Up Game clips, um, wild joints, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Right now he worked with Max V, riding that way. Ow. <laughs> so that's it. You yeah. heard yeah. yeah, you already know. So Grease is like really the, 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 the forefront of that, this project, you know what I'm saying? And he really helped to give me direction in the beginning of it, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and to have an OG like that, you know, take me on is a blessing, man. So shout out to Dan Grease, man.